ago, this idyllic runaway was no more than a Mexican mirage. Unfathomable mysteries of the ancients, pristine white ribbons of sand, miles of rolling surf. A unique combination would make it a vacation pleasure treasure. Caramba! Developers moved in and turned the sun-bleached backwater into Mexico's ultimate vacation location. Situated on the Yucatan Peninsula, Cancun basks on Mexico's Caribbean coast, 600 miles south of New Orleans. Television's stunning senorita from Friday the 13th selected this purpose-built paradise for her special tequila sunrises. For Roby, it's Olay all the way. Cancun was developed for hedonistic pleasures. That being the case, it fulfills its dream and my dream. It is really an incredible place that you can just have fun in the sun and swim and look out in the ocean and it's really a, an incredible experience. Cancun's most sought after reservation is at the five star Camino Real Hotel. Guests are given the star treatment in the lap of luxury. I would never check into any other hotel. When I walked into the suite, I had never seen anything like it in my life. It was like being a sultan in Arabia. It's a huge place, and they had filled it with beautiful flowers, and they even put rose petals in my bath. These people know how to give you a good time. After soaking up the good life, what better than to go native and part with the pesos? Roby and manager Joel Diamond discovered what a Mexican standoff really means. Por favor, senor. You have to haggle if you want a bargain. Five thousand? Wow. Great album cover. It's <laughs> very good. <laughs> I don't like to shop. If I do, it's impulse buying. And I got the impulse. It was like a rainbow. There were colors everywhere. Their blankets and their hats. They're, uh, they're very colorful people. No way! I think you put less money. Do you want to buy? How much? Serene surf, bountiful beaches, and a perfect sun-drenched climate. The magic and mystery of Cancun comes when you travel back in time. 1,200 years ago, these Mayan ruins at Tulum were hardly a vacation paradise. Your hosts, the high priests, and their fun idea of room service would have meant ordering up a human sacrifice to appease the sun god. The Mayan ruins were quite incredible. We uh, were able to travel for one and a half hours and just be there in another world and realize what Mexico is all about, in fact, what our whole world is all about. The experience of uh, being in Tulum will stay with me for a long time to come. After a day of surf, sun, and secrets of centuries past, it was time to enjoy Cancun by night. Delicious Yucatan cuisine combines Caribbean seafood delights with the traditional dishes of old Mexico. It's fresh, wonderful. I had lobster one night. Another night I had salmon. All their specials are to be recommended. I had a dessert there, which I'd never had before. It was... Uh, prepared by the chef right at the table. It was pineapple that they were frying. And he said it was uh, going to be a great dish, and God knows it was. Don't be fooled by Cancun's laid-back elegance. This resort rocks and rolls with the best of them. The disco beat is international. Take that from the chart topper who knows exactly how to strut her stuff. We went to the Aquarius Disco, and it was a great way to burn off any excess pineapple. The music was great, and uh, all of a sudden, wouldn't you know it, on comes my song. One night in Bangkok, and boy, did we get up and dance to that.
when the old meets the new in a man-made master plan for paradise on Earth, you can be sure that the wonders of Cancun are Mexico at its most magnificent. Cancun was really a very, very special holiday for me. One in a million. It's uh, a great place to go because you've got the past and the present. And what more could you ask for? Still ahead, John Hillerman's Austrian Odyssey. But first, a daytime heartthrob finds super luxury right on...